Hi everyone, welcome. I am Maggie of maggiesbliss.com and I am here for our Tuesday, it's Tuesday, right? <laughs> Tuesday Oracle reading, energy reading of the week for the collective. Um, so it's been obviously an extremely crazy, weird, wacky couple of weeks, couple of months, who knows. Um, but this month has been pretty challenging for a lot of people. The energy is just intense. It is, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but there is just a little more of that uh, going throughness that we have to go through, right? So there will be some, um, a, a few more challenges, uh, a few more um, grieving of loss. And this loss could be of death of someone that we know, uh, a person, um, a pet, and it could also be um, a death of something uh, like a relationship, a divorce, um, a friendship, uh, a way that you've always known yourself to be could be a death of that and you've shifted, you've changed and now it, the, the world, the universe, your own soul is asking you to be um, different, to be new, to always honor the shifts and changes within you rather than resisting because then that just creates a lot of um, suffering. Uh, when we resist, it persists until we finally say, okay, I get it now. <laughs> uh, so the decks I'm working with today, just so you know, uh, in case you would like, one of my favorite new decks, for, new to me, Angel Power Wisdom Cards. So beautiful, so awesome. And uh, it's written by Gay Guthrie artwork by, I can't even pronounce it, but you will look this up and then you'll find it right away if you're looking it up online, Amazon, Google, whatever. And the second deck, one of my other um, obsession decks <laughs> I love is this Goddess Power Oracle deck. It is Colette Baron Reed. The illustrations are just amazing um, that really drive home messages. So what I pulled are first from the Angel power wisdom cards. <laughs> I just want to get that right. Our first card, and so here's the back of the card. Front of your card is this beautiful angelic. She's overlooking just vast vastness, the potential, the possibility. And it says your calling on the card. It says your life's purpose is like an awakening to put your gifts and talents to good use and enjoy the journey of your life. So this is saying, enjoy your journey. That means enjoy where you're going, but enjoy how you're getting there, when you're, you're doing the travel, the journey, whether it's actually traveling um, or just the journey to get you there because you must, like so many people have that, I'm gonna reach that goal, that um, final thing, whether it's a job or it's a location or it's a project, I'm gonna finish that project and I'm gonna get to the end of it and yay, then I'll be happy. You must enjoy the journey as you get there. And <laughs> um, that is actually truly where the magic is, is you enjoying the present moment, the now moment, and this now moment now, that's all we have, right? So enjoy your journey as you're getting there. Because I know that there was a location we were trying to find in Sedona, me and my hubby this weekend, and we didn't, we reached it close to it, but we didn't actually get in there. So we're getting there. It's just <laughs> a little bit more challenging, but you know, it was, uh, an awesome day. We were still in Sedona and the energy was amazing. Our doggy was with us and that was beautiful. So we, um, we got, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> um, but now we know where not to go, but we also know like, um, it was just beautiful. So it's just enjoying the moment anyway, enjoying where you are anyway, honoring the, uh, moments where you need to grieve and uh, grieve the loss of something or someone, and then getting into your journey and, and uh, enjoying the journey as you get there. Um, something's coming in, but I'm trying to um, remember what what those words are. <sighs> Enjoy getting there while you're getting there. Be in the moment always. You create your next moment in that way. Yes, have goals because we need our intentions, right? The goals to this thing or that thing. And then sometimes it changes and that could be the thing that's really um, throwing you for a loop right now is that your goal has changed. Your soul's mission has come in and it's different than what you thought it would be, right? So allow for the changes to happen. Don't resist it because when you resist it, it's like I said, more suffering. The next thing, faith and values. Oh my God, right? Just take a look at that beautiful card. It's so wonderful. 
angel magic, of course, coming in for everyone right now. And they're here. They're supporting us. Um, your values are guiding principles. Use them to choose the way you live your life. So that's what the card says. But yes, these values could be the thing that's shifting and changing. You could be fine tuning what your value truly is because maybe your value was um, to be in this loving relationship and then you realize what you really needed is to just feel that love, the self-love within. Um, that's just one of many, many, many examples of how your values can shift and change. What is most important to you could be happiness or it could be security or it could be like, what is the thing? And then it's, it's often shifting and changing and moving to really get to the core of what your true value is. Uh, one thing that really helps is going through like my 28-day soul coaching process. I have mini soul coaching sessions for you all on, on a playlist on my YouTube channel. So go to your, my Maggie's Bliss YouTube channel, hit the playlist tab, and then find the one that says soul coaching. You have 21, 28 days or 28 weeks, 28 months, however you want to do it. Uh, and then I have a final one for your vision quest. So see what you can do to like really carve out the true being, the light being that you are. And our final card is more of um, our activation for all of this. It's from the other deck, the goddess power deck. It is the number six card, which in numerology is love, as well as duality of all dualities to see the finer, like see two sides of the coin and everything. But also this is the goddess for beauty. She, the Ben, and I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. So it's B-E-N-Z-A-I hyphen, and I think it's G-E-N, uh, Benzai Jen. It looks like Jen, um, but she is bringing in this remembrance of beauty, the beauty within you, and to remember that you must have self-love. When you love yourself fully and completely, it is easier to see the beauty fully and completely outward. This card is reminding you that the beauty is out there in the world. There is so much beauty to take in and experience and be in gratitude with and for. And when we are in self-loathing, we can't really experience it to its fullness, right? Because we're a part of that beauty. We truly are. And I think I even said this last week, you are a part of this beautiful world. Who you are is enough and you must come to that self-love within you in order to truly not only see the beauty out there, which is powerful to its fullness, but also to create more beauty and to bring that into the world. You can bring more of yourself when you honor who you are fully and completely. So your calling, uh, your life's purpose, right? Awakening to your gifts and the awakening itself, the journey is the gift uh, faith in your values and allow them to shift and change as you do and honor the beauty within you the other message that comes in is to remember that when people are leaving people and pets they are still alive and they are just in a different iteration of their energetic self they're still with us they're in our heart yes yes and um, we can be happy anyway and they want us to be happy. And yes, we must grieve first. We must feel the loss, whether it's a person or a thing, right? Feel the loss, feel the grief, and then step forward. Yes, nature is going to be your hugest support for any kind of grieving and loss. Get out to the ocean. Get out in the sun. Get out and honor the energy of Gaia that's coming to you always to assist you. We are a part of Gaia and she's giving us her blessing and it's going to truly help you tune into truth. Uh, I like whenever I'm inside too much, like I get outside in the morning and I feel amazing and then I'm inside for several hours and I was like, yeah, you feel that you must get outside inside in a city or not. I don't care. You got to get out there, <laughs> get out there for a few minutes. If it's too cold, whatever, too hot. Just get out there as much as you can. Touch your feet to the earth. Enjoy the sun coming in so that you can come back to wholeness. It balances your energy. So hopefully you have an amazing rest of your week. I am coming back with you guys live for the Day of the Dead Sacred Sound journey on November 1st, the Day of the Dead. To honor our ancestors, our loved ones, and to honor the veil at its thinnest, which is so in Halloween and Day of the Dead, that energy, right? We're going to be at our fullness. So that shadow work will come to its peak within there. And it's going to start to wane for us as we head into rest for winter. But for now, just you can do it. I have my support. And know that also um, 
we are and I'm going to have the landing page up soon for you guys to be able to sign up for our powerful Hawaii um, Kauai retreat. So it's a Kauai spiritual retreat. It's January 16th to 22nd. Mark your calendars and we'll have the landing page up soon so that you can sign up. We've been working through hard as hard as we can, as fast as we can on the curriculum. There will be a sacred canoe um, we're going to be uh, riding a canoe on a sacred river in Kauai. That's going to be amazing as one of our excursions. And you're going to have some powerful experiences throughout the retreat. Um, each day will be someone new to experience. For me, I'm on full moon day. Yay, my favorite. So uh, I picked it. Um, our first full moon of the year in Kauai for the retreat. I'll be offering you all nine Winnie Key rides in person. Uh, and then we'll also be doing fire ceremony. It is Wild Diaz, White Eagle me and we're also uh, joining forces with Brooke, Dr. Brooke. Um, so we'll all be together for that Hawaii retreat. So more details to come. I hope you guys can come and join us. It's going to just be another amazing, powerful experience. Hawaii has that unique energy. It's different than our Sedona retreat that we just finished. It's going to really bring in the energy of like mother energy too and just that unique like Lemurian energy in Hawaii just all the unique things that come in with that Hawaiian heritage and we're going to have some elder um blessings as well so it's just it's going to be amazing you're going to love it so hopefully I'll see you there have an amazing rest of your week either way and I'll be seeing you again for our mini meditation on Thursday and again day of the dead November 1st our meditation sacred sound journey fun. So blessed be.